Hello everyone. Let us learn about limit points of a topological space. Let us consider a subset of a topological space. Say capital A be the subset of the topological space capital X. See here whenever we are using a topological space X it means uh, let's say tau be a topology derived on x. We simply call x comma tau the ordered pair as x. We will not use x comma tau as a topological space. Simply we use x be a topological space. Okay. Meaning of this that tau be derived on x and this tau is a topological space. We know the meaning of topological space, right? So, let us learn limit points. What is the meaning of limit points of a topological space and how we find the limit points of a topological space? Let's say capital A be a subset of a topological space. Say the topological space x comma tau, we write x. A point a point x belongs to capital x be x be any element of capital x which is called a limit point limit point is also called as cluster point or we call as an accumulation point See here, this small x be any element of capital X, which is called a limit point. Limit point of capital A, if every open set containing this small x contains a point of A other than this small x. Other than small x. What is the meaning of this? Here, A, B, any subset of a topological space X. Right. That implies X contains A. The set capital A. We are having one element. This belongs to capital X. Which is called, this small x is called limit point of the subset A. If, if, Every open set containing X, that means uh, we need to consider one open set which contains X. Again, that open set contains other than X also. One more point. Say, let G be any open set. Okay. Then, meaning of this statement is... A intersection G, right, contains a point of A. G contains a point of A implies G also containing uh, some points of A. So, A intersection G other than X, that means minus X should contains other than X minus X should not be equal to empty. Right. A be a subset of a topological space X. A point X is called a limit point of A. If A and G contain one more point other than X. One more point means only X is not the element. Other than X we need some element. That is this set should not be equal to empty. Other points also should include in the particular set. Then we call this X as a limit point of A. Let's consider one example. By example, we can uh, understand the concept. Let's consider one capital X, the set. Say this uh, capital X containing some five elements. Let's derive one topology. As we know, topology contains two sets, X and empty. Singleton set A, set containing two elements, C and D. 
सेम थ्री एलिमेंट्स ए सी डी वन मोर सबसे टाइम कंसिडरिंग बी सी डी ई ओके कैन सी हियर दिस इज टोपोलॉजिकल स्पेस ऑन कैपिटल एक्स राइट ओके नाउ the store satisfies all the conditions of a topological space then only it will become topology right okay right then tau be a topology on x let's list out all the open sets of tau x be one of the open set empty singleton set a set containing two elements cd next a c d next b c d e right these are the open sets now let us consider what subset of x let's consider a as any elements any elements you can take from a a i am considering three elements a d e randomly i am taking uh, only for clarification of this definition now let's find out the point of capital x any point of capital x will become a limit point or not okay considering this a limit point of a or not let's go with uh, the element a itself okay let a belongs to capital x x belongs to capital x like that itself if it become limit point then it should satisfy this condition okay see here now we need to consider all the open sets that is g which contains a open sets g c r open these are the open sets it containing a what are the open sets containing a say g1 g1 is the open set containing a is singleton set a g2 be another open set containing a which one a c d right it also containing a again uh, i am considering one more set g3 it should contain a which one containing a c r x containing a so these three are the open sets containing a now we need a intersection g minus singleton set x not equal to empty c r i will go for a intersection the open set containing a i need to go for g1 minus singleton set x should not be equal to empty first i will con consider this a intersection g1 the value of capital a is a d e intersection the value of g1 is singleton set a i am substituting the value okay minus singleton set x should not be equal to empty right so let's find out this intersection intersection of a d e and a singleton set a is singleton set a itself minus singleton set x in the place of x we have a minus singleton set a singleton set a minus singleton set a which is equal to empty this implies a is not a limit point not a limit point okay let's go with one more element of capital x let's consider b note it down for any one open set this condition doesn't hold hold implies for any open set we not we need not consider for the condition if for one set it fails then it will not become a limit point if it satisfies the condition then we need to check for other also other open sets also okay let's go for 
an element B. Let's say B any element of capital X. Then let's consider the open sets containing B. Say here X be any open set containing B. Then empty not singleton set A not set containing two elements C D not A C D not B C D E this set containing B right okay now let's consider this as G1 and this as G2 now we need the condition is A intersection G minus singleton set in the place of small x we have B not equal to empty if this condition satisfies for the given open sets then b will become the limit point right say uh, the value of capital a given as set containing three elements a d e a d e intersection i'm for go for g1 minus singleton set b right so a d e intersection the value of g1 is capital x minus singleton set b the value is value is a d e intersection x x containing five elements a b c d e okay a b c d e a d e are the common elements so this intersection is a d e itself minus singleton set b we get we get a d e itself this is not equal to empty okay now let's go for g2 g2 the value of g2 is b c d e right a d e which is the value of capital a intersection value of g2 is b c d e equal to uh, C here minus B we know we need equal to A D E B C D E the common elements are D E D E minus singleton set B we get two elements D E which is not equal to empty which is not equal to empty therefore in both the cases G one and for G2, on both the cases, the given rule not equal to empty. Therefore, B is a limit point. B is a limit point. See so here, I have given the examples for B as well as not a limit point. B is a limit point. A is not a limit point I have shown these two please try for C D E find C D E are the limit points of capital A or not okay please try this we'll see some more concepts in next upcoming videos